Hey. Hey guys, uh, I'm live. Um, I'm getting ready to do my makeup for Thanksgiving. And I know it's been a while since the last time I've done my makeup. Um, it's been almost a month, I think. I did it in October. Um, but I will get started. Let's um, put my on first. I had an idea of doing a look, but I might be doing this look instead. I don't know. Give me just a second. Uh, R.M.'s Indigo photo sketch or whatever is out. So <laughs> R.M. from BTS. R.M. R.M. Yeah. I just got up. Sorry. Yeah. His photo sketch just got posted. Uh, okay. I have three palettes. I'm using one for the mirror and uh, using one for the mirror and one for the eyeshadows and I might use some in the other palette I'm using for the mirror too. Okay, I'm going to prime my face with the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Let me back up a little bit. Nyx Angel Veil Primer. And I'm going to... Um... I'm going to take... I should post those photos later on my fan account. Move out the skin. Make sure it's blended. And then I'm gonna use this primer mist. I never use a primer mist, but uh, it's the hard candy hydrating, uh, hard candy sheer even, yeah, hard candy sheer envy hydrating primer mist. Uh, Twelve hour, hour electrolytes energizes the skin and hydrates it. So. Forgive me, I just woke up, but we're getting ready to try it. Out. Whew! Get my fan out. <laughs> so I can fan my face off. But we're going to go in with foundation here in just a second. Nobody's watching right now. I was going to do more like a simple look, but I don't know now. <laughs> I'm kind of confused now. Okay, I'm going to do... No, I said I was going to use... What are we doing then? I need to use this one. Okay. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in rose ivory and I need a, I'm gonna use a sponge and a brush I'm gonna use a sponge later okay I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use the to blend it in I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush it's the 200 brush and I'm going to Put this on my face so I really don't know what look I'm doing uh no 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 nobody's watching right now maybe when I get ready to get done 
uh, ordered uh, Jen's album, Astronaut, and um, actually my dad bought it, but ordered his album and um, ordered R.E.M.'s. I well, pre-ordered Jen's. It's coming December 2nd. And then I pre-ordered... I just got foundation on my shirt. Then I pre-ordered RM's. And it's coming on December... Uh, no, not December 2nd. That's the day RM's album comes out. Sorry. Um, I will be... Um, getting Jen's album on December 6th. I will be getting RM's on December 20th. Jen's on December 6th. RM's on December 20th. So, it'll be like an early Christmas present, you know? But, uh, yeah, I will be... I'll be getting his album, both albums. Um, but I will be using the Expert Face Brush to blend this in. Various buffing motions or circular motions. Normally, I would tap but with this type of brush, you would want to use circular motions. Making sure it's nice and blended out. Okay, I have to post those photos. I'm going to my uncle's house to eat with my dad. I, I completely forgot I did not have a mirror. I completely forgot I'm using the freaking screen as a mirror, guys. Okay. Beauty Bird palette mirror. The dream palette. But I, I just realized I wasn't using a mirror. I think I need a mirror. <laughs> what do you think? I got a little bit of texture. I think I may go in with this sponge right here and try to blend this part in a little bit more. It's a Real Techniques sponge. It's just a special edition. It's a Real Techniques Miracle sponge. It's just fancy. <laughs> it's different packaging. I was trying to help the skin smooth out a little bit with it. It's a, it's a, a damp sponge. And it helps it a little bit. It helped it a little. Um, I have a little bit of acne right now. Um, eh. That was my sponge, you guys. My sponge just fell. Right. I don't know where my sponge went. <laughs> Yay. I have to find it after I get done filming. Um, I'm going to go in with concealer now. I don't know if this is the one that has my one brush in it, does it? I'm going to use the Real Tech, not Real Techniques. Yeah, I'm going to use the Real Techniques Soft Accent to brush. Uh, it's the 421. And I'm going to use the shade Light Beige. Wet and Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Light Beige. I'm going to put this on. Uh, I'm going to be using a new powder today. Um, I know nobody is freaking watching. I may build this up more than usual. I need to post those pictures. Um, when I get done with this. After I get done posting. And stuff. This will be going on YouTube. As well. 
It will be going on YouTube. It will be going on YouTube. I'm going to blend this in now. With a soft accent brush. See? Look how flawless it blends out. I'm almost done. <laughs> That's why I like this concealer so much because it wins so easily. I wonder how many photos they are. I usually post those type of pictures too. I post any picture really, but it has to do with their music. But um, I'm going to post this. Hopefully, it's not many because I have to leave. Um, it's at 2 o'clock, um, so, okay, I might just build it up just a teeny bit more here, I'm gonna build it up just a little bit in the inner parts, I'm blending it, I'm adding just a teeny bit more in the inner corner of my eye, see, I just added just a little bit more, in the inner part of my eye and I'm gonna let it back in let's bring it in the inner and I'm gonna bring it towards the inner corner okay okay now we're gonna get ready to set it um I have a new powder that I want to try today um it's the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Clarifying Finishing Powder. And it's in the shade Fair at Light. So, um, I'm going to use, I need like a small brush for the under eye. One brush go. I don't know where that one brush is. It's not in here, is it? It's in here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be using the Real Techniques Setting Brush 402. And I'm gonna go into this powder and I'm going to set my under eye. I swatched this and it has a weird consistency. It's kind of like creamy. But it's hard to explain. I've never felt a powder like that, I don't think. I probably have, I just don't remember. <laughs> but I'm just gonna just, I'm dipping it in there into the pan. And then I'm tapping it a little bit off. And in the end, we're gonna put this on. Okay. This one don't, this one don't get everywhere. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my under, I'm gonna tap it back in. And I'm going to set my under eye. I should have a, it's got a yellow tone, so it should brighten. Um, let me do it back right back in it. I don't think I got enough product. Um, but, that's why I'm looking up a little. And so, I cannot crease it, but it's creasing anyway. Dipping right back into that same powder. I'm also going to use this for the face. So. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also focus this powder. Get it? Focus. Oh. And I'm going to kind of take it towards the front of my eyes. Just to kind of brighten them. it may brighten it a little bit because of the like, tone in it <sighs> because it's really yellow um okay for the powder brush for the face we're going to use the wet and wild p60 and it's the large powder brush it looks like that it's this big brush with this handle okay I don't know what type of look I'm doing. I may just do what I was planning on doing. Just more simple. 
I don't know, I'm scraping it with the end of the brush just so I can get some more product off. Because with this brush, it's hard to get any off. Because it's usually, usually I don't have any trouble, but I normally don't. I'm going to just set. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dip my brush back in. Eh, no. I'm just going to dip my back brush, brush back in. Sorry. And I'm going to set the other side. First time trying this powder, so we'll see how it goes once I get it done. I'll look at my face, see what's, what we got going on. You know? Um, but yeah, I will. I'm gonna break it down the neck. Um, let's see what this looks like. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's sad. I'm gonna have to clip that, but uh, with some scissors. Um, but so far, so good. I still got texture. But I will be putting setting spray on. So that'll help with that. I need to, before I start the brows, I need to cut them. I need to cut them with some scissors. Um, I don't know what the heck I'm doing to my eyes. I just need to do the brows first. I'm just going to cut this little part right here. That's bothering me. I just needed that a little bit needed. Hopefully I'll get to see my cousins today. I should be able to see them. Okay, I want to do the brows now. I need to set my face really quickly with the setting spray that I have. Oh, that was a mini size or a trial size. I think they do have them in full size. The setting sprays. Um... Hard Candy Sheer Envy Long Wear Setting Spray. Wear for hours. It's the, it's the long, uh, long Wear Setting Spray by Hard Candy. I'm going to... Um, looks like that. And then the Primer Mist. Primer Mist looks like... Eh, I'm dropping things. It looks like this. But, uh, yeah. I'm going to spray my face now. Just get ooh. it got in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> in my mouth just a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Last time I had to do this in two parts. I hope I don't have to do this again. You know. Make sure I get my face dry. I don't know if I'm gonna do a purple and pink or pink and purple. Uh, or if I'm going to do what I had planned. Okay. Well, my face is still drying. I'm going to do my brows. I think, <laughs> I think I got my eye wet. Okay. Um, what did I say? Brow. There's no brow pen, so I know you're in here. Okay, I need a spoolie brush. Okay. 
elf, um, eyelash, and brow wand for my that I got for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just go in. I'm gonna brush the brows up. I'm gonna brush them up. I'll need that to brush them through. Uh, for the brows, I got the second time using this. I had to buy another one because I lost the lid. And then I found the lid, I think, yesterday <laughs> and put it back on it. But there's a reason why I bought a new one. Um, but it's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Brow Pencil in ash brown and I'm going to fill in my brows with that okay looks like this the tips angle angular and I'm going to fill in the brows so I'm just gonna go like that I don't know what I'm doing in my eyes all I have no clue. I want to outline my eyebrows. This brow pencil is, I don't know. I think my skin's still wet. I think I feel my foundation just come off. My skin's still a little wet. Um. I think my skin's still wet. Skin is still. I don't know what's going on on that side, but I think it's because it's still wet. I'm gonna start on this other side. Maybe it won't do that. Okay. That tip just broke. Okay. I'm not used to brow pencils, so yeah, that was what was wrong. My skin was wet. My skin was wet. That was what the problem was. Um, that's what was wrong. My skin was wet, you guys. towards the top. I'm going to fill them in. Oh. Don't worry, I will blend this out. I'm going to go back into this other brow. It should be ready now. It should be dry now. Why does it not want to stick? I'm having trouble on this one eyebrow that it will not stick. I don't know why. It's not sticking. I don't know what the problem is. I really, really don't. I really don't know what's wrong. I don't know why nothing's sticking to this side. I mean, I'm going to be cleaning it up with concealer, so I just don't know what the problem is with the side of my eyebrow. <laughs> so you look at that eyebrow, and it's perfect, and then this eyebrow, and it's not. See, it's not sticking. I don't know. 
Oh, what I did wrong. I think it's starting to stick now. I just, I think that my skin was wet. That's kind of just what went through. I'm going through the brows with it. And we'll go towards the front. Draw it real thick and then I'm going to clean it with concealer anyway. Um, okay. I uh, will brush them up and set them. I'm going to use the same spoolie. And I'm going to go through them. I'm going to go through them. It's important to brush them through so they look um, blended. So that's why I am brushing through them. See, I know they look crazy right now. I know they look crazy. But they'll look better once I get done carving them. Okay, where did the brow pencil go? Somewhere over there. But we're going to clean it with some concealer and then we're going to set them. Okay, I need some type of brush that will help me with that. This one set that I got for Christmas will help me with that. Um, I'm going to put some on the back, front and the back of the brush. Front and the back, okay. Now I'm going to go above and below them. I'm going to go below them. Right now, okay. And clean them. I'm gonna take the other side and I'm gonna go. Hold on, we need more product. Hold on. <laughs> oh, more product. Okay. I can't wait for the look I'm doing in December. It's gonna be really creative. I can't wait for it. More creative than this one, for sure. For sure. But I'm just going to carve that out, carve the line, and uh, I will set this, so, okay. i got to put that, i got to set the brow bone. Also, <clears throat> we got the front and the back done. I'm going to go under the brow, okay, and I'm going to, it's so hard to do this side, because <laughs> I am right handed, so, um, I'll get to see my cousins today, um, so, yeah. I'll get to see them today, Brooke, Donna, and yeah, I hope I get to see them. My brow, brow looks darker than the other, but okay, I wish I could find that brow pencil so I can fix that one area. I don't know what I did with it. I think I put it back up. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go in with my brow gel now. Um, the, um, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Shaping Gel in the shade Brown. I'll show you the wand. It's so tiny, barely see it so tiny um that's in the shade brown and i'm gonna go through my brows and fluff them up i 
I'm going to kind of go lightly because I still want them to be fluffy. I don't want them to be too boxy. Um, I just want them to be pretty fluffy. I still want to see those fluffy hairs. Okay, just lightly go. It's a little bit more fluffy, fluffy. But, okay. I'll go towards the front a little. Towards the front a little. I have more hair on this, uh, this eyebrow than this eyebrow, so. Okay. Yeah, that done. That's the brows. I know, for some reason, one looks darker than the other. But, okay. Um, I'm going to go into a palette and I'm going to use the, um, white in it. Um, let me go into this one. This is probably the one I'll be using. Um, <clears throat> I need a shade. Okay, I need a, just a brow bone highlight brush. I'm just going to use this brush. I'm going to go into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. And I'm going to use the white that's in there. I'm going to be using the white that's in there. Okay. I don't have a disc in front of me, but I'm going to use the shade. Here's the palette. Um, you've seen me use it before in my first video, the pink and red look with the red lip. I'm going to use this shade. I'm going to use, I want to use this shade up at the top. This very first shade right here. And it's going to go on my brow bone. It's this shade right here. It's a very top shade, and I'm gonna, it's called Certified. I'm going to use it on my brow bone. I don't know if I'm going to use this palette or not. I think I probably will. I think I'm going to do something soft today. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to use the shade Certified. I'm dipping right in it. I'll do nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to dip it right back in it again, and I will, see it instantly brightens, you know, I'm going to blend right through that though, I'm going to try to blend really well because this is white, this is a white shadow, <laughs> Um, I'm going to make sure we blend it, you know, I am, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I will be posting pictures. I'm going to wear my hair down, I think. So, I'm going to be posting pictures of this look. So, I'm going to make sure it's blended out. So it's not too stark, you know, I don't want to make it too stark there. Okay. I may have got eyeshadow on my pants, but it's fine. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing for the eyes. I still don't know. Um, I was going to use... <laughs> I was going to use um, a shade in um, the original palette called, um, let me just show you. I was going to use this palette. Um, I was going to use the shade called Obsessed with um, Mocha or Buns. I was going to do that. Um, or I was going to do with, with Ryder Diamonds for Topper, but now I'm thinking of doing Beauties and 
apartment 512 from the palette the pink and the purple um but i don't want it i don't know it's fall time you know i don't think in the shimmery also so but there's also a pink and the purple like tipsy girl lolly mama therapy sesh those pinks and purples i don't know yet because I'm going to be doing a pinky new, I guess it's like a nude lip, pinky nude lip. Um, I may just do something soft today. Sometimes simple looks good too, you know? I don't know. That's up to me though. I can get that done pretty quick if I do it now. Um, and I do got stuff to do. Um, I'm going to post this and then I'm going to post those photos and then I do that before we leave. Um, so I may just be using the original Jacqueline and the volume 2 today. I'm going to take the shade. Once I do this, I, mean, I can always take it off, but I don't have makeup wipes with me right now. Okay, I'm going to go into the Dream Palette. Um, I'm going to take the shade Obsessed right here. I'm going to put that on my lid. Um, i got so many things going right now. I'm going to take the shade Obsessed and put it on my lid. So let me find a brush for that. <laughs> let me find a brush for that. Please excuse me. Wet and wild. Ratman rock brush. Okay, hold on. Um. I don't know if I want to do a colorful look. These are shimmery, these shades. Um, okay. Let's just, let's just go simple. I, I don't really have time to do nothing crazy. No, 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 no. Notifications, guys. Sorry. I'm going to take the shade Obsessed, which is right here let me turn it again so you can see it. it's right above creamsicle right below royalty um if you have this palette <laughs> if you have it um i'm gonna take that on a brush i may wear this oh and i need to put concealer on my lid give me just a second <laughs> completely forgot to put concealer on my lid completely forgot I'm just going to use the same concealer brush to blend it with. Use the same concealer brush. I don't think that looks appropriate for right now. That's why I think it's too springy. So I'm just going to just go with what what I had planned. I'm just using um, a little bit of concealer as a primer. Okay, and I have the shade Obsessed on my lid. Dipping right back in it. And I go right on my lid with it. Is this a light shimmer shade? It's like a champagne. And am I wet this? See, like, ooh. It's one of my favorite shades in the palette, so I'll do two layers. 
I may wet this just to make it super shiny. Oh, I'll do that, do a nude liner too. It's so hard to tell if this is on the lid because it's so light. It's just a light, pretty light shimmer shade, like it's nothing crazy. Okay, I'm gonna wet this now. I wanna dip back into Obsessed. And I'm going to wet this with some setting spray. And we're gonna do some defining as well. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a pink highlighter today. It's yeah, I think I'm just going to just gonna use a pink highlight. Um, I dipped right back into the shadow and wetted it. This will make it kind of like glossy, like a shiny effect, I guess. I'm going to dip right back in it. I dipped right back in it, didn't I? I'm going to dip right back in the shade. I'm also straightening my hair today. So, yeah. Now, this is a pretty light shade. Like, it's like an everyday shade. I wore this to, um, I wore this eyeshadow to my, um, I wore this eyeshadow, um, for, um, beauty school graduation. Not beauty school graduation. I didn't wear it at beauty school graduation. I wore it, um, last day of beauty school. Sorry. My last day of beauty school three years ago. And then, um, I wore it, uh, on my 20th, 20th birthday. Let's make sure those lids look good. Okay, I'm going to take, see, this is what the lid looks like. Um, it's pretty and shimmery. Um, I'm going to take a definer brush. I'm going to take a definer brush from um, probably this one. If I could find that one that I had in my freaking... Sorry for kissing. Can't help it. <laughs> Okay, Lexi. Sorry. Lexi. 221 flat definer. Um, and if you see me swap like that, I'm swapping notifications off my phone. Uh, but, but, um, yeah. I'm going to flat definer and I'm going to take the shade from the original palette. Um, I don't know. I usually take Mocha, but Mocha is warm, so that's not going to work. I don't have makeup wipes, forgive me. <laughs> um, I think... I have a little card with the names on it. Um... I think I'm going to go in with, I think it's right below bones, chip, I think I'm going to go in with chip, which is right below the shade bones, right below the shade bones, that's bones, a lot warmer, that's a lot warmer. That's a shade mocha, and then this is chip. So I'm gonna take, because I'm going for more of a cool toned look, so I'm just gonna dip, I'm just gonna dip right in to the shade chip. Also, we'll be doing my hair, so I need to hurry. 
But I'm going to use this on the upper and lower lash line today. Okay. Let me see if I can get in a frame. Um, this will be going on YouTube, so... I just like to do this because it defines the lashes without having to use without having to use eyeliner. It just kind of like gives the effect of eyeliner, if that makes sense. It gives that effect that you have eyeliner on. But it's a lot softer. And plus this is brown. If I was to use black, it would have looked harsh. Same thing with um, eyeshadow. You know how black eyeliner can look harsh. Black eyeshadow could look harsh. If you use a lot of it. It's really pigmented too. Um, brown is a lot softer. Brown eyeliner, brown eyeshadow. Eh. I don't know how that's going to get fixed. I did a little mess up, you guys, but we can fix it. Oh, gosh, I hope I can. Oh, that's going to be fun to fix. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna, uh, I made a little mistake. I don't know if you could see this. See that shadow right there? I'm gonna try to fix this. <laughs> oh god, it's, I'm scared. Okay. Okay. I'll go right back into that Bretman brush. Okay. I'm gonna take the shade Obsessed. Okay. Once again, take the shade Obsessed. I'm going to go right on my lid to cover it. <laughs> it's not going to cover it probably completely, but... Kind of do that. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay, see that defined by eyes? Okay. I'll go right back into the shade. Okay, I'm going to use a nude pencil. Um, I'm going to do my lower lash. I'm going to do my eyeliner now. And then we'll go back right back into it. To what we were doing. Okay, I need my nude liner. I'm thinking about using blush today, but I'm just going to use like a little light amount. I can't wait to do the lip, you guys. So excited to do the lip. But I'm going to use the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Eyeliner and Honey Dude. And I'm going to have a retractable liner. And I'm going to go in my waterline with it. Because today I am doing a um, special look. I may need a brush to pull. Let's Wet and Wild Pro Setting Brush. P65. I need this to pull my water line down. And I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I just don't know how. Okay. makeup off. That's why I'm trying to be careful.
I may have to go right back in it again. Just for some reason it's not sticking. Okay, I'm going back in to the shade chip. I'm going to go to my lower lash line. This is also works as an eyeliner. See, I'd like to find some eyes without adding too much to it. Let's bring it about that far in. I'll go in my chip again. Um, So right back into chip and I'm we'll gonna do the other eye. I know nobody is watching me right now. But that is fun. Okay. I'm gonna do right back into chip again. I'll go right back into that nude again here in just a second. I need to wipe this fallout off. <clears throat> the brush I'm using for blush, I will use this brush to wipe the fallout off. A little bit of fallout. The Technique's blush brush we're going to be using for our blush, but um. I'm gonna go, I need the nude liner again. There's his head. I can't see either. Great. Okay. Cream gel on. I'm gonna break this part off just so I can get a new. Um, I don't need this anymore, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do my mascara and stuff too, so, um, okay. Let me see if I can do this now without it messing with me. It should go on now. Uh, this is gonna brighten up the Make me look more awake. Okay. Cream to outliner, honey dude. Okay. I realized I did not put an eyelash curler in my bag. Okay. I'm gonna curl my lashes now. Went wild hat on, rides. Eyelash curler, I think that's what it's called. Went wild hat on, rides. Eyelash curler. Just a second, you guys. Okay. Oh, this can't smell again. It hurts. It's so easy to do. I don't care if they're super curled, though, because I'm going to be putting... Um, Fossies on. Um, I need to do something on the side of my eye. Hold on. But I need to fix. Um, let's 
should help brighten it. There we go. There we go, we got it. My eyes are just watering right now. But yeah, it should be. It's good enough. Mascara, Supergirl, Supergirl, uh, the Cover Girl, the Super Sizer Big Girl, and I have it in very black. And I realize no one is watching me. Great. I'm just putting these lashes on. I must put a lot coat on because I am putting um fake. Lashes on it. Sorry. I didn't mean to bump you. <laughs> I didn't mean to bump you. <laughs> Above the camera. Or the phone. Um, but yeah, I just want just a lot coat. I'll do my lower mascara once I get done with the lashes. I was like a light coat right now. But that's what it looks like on their own. See, so yeah, I have like baby lashes, so. Yay! I have baby lashes. Okay, I need the small mascara. Or smaller mascara. Uh, Cover Girl Super Sizer Waterproof, very black. That's what we'll use for my bottom. But I'm going to do lashes now. Okay. Yay. And this lip is going to be cool. I can't wait to do the lip. Okay. I'm going to use the same pair of lashes that I used last time. Um, forgot to take them. Forgot to show you the pack. A kiss. Looks so natural. Lightweight. Comfortable. They're kiss lashes. And they're in the style number threes. I'm going to use the first pair, which is the pair I've used already. I'm going to use that pair, and I need my glue. I'm going to use my fingers, because that's what I use when I do my lashes. I normally use my fingers. I can't believe I'm at down my eyes. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't want to do nothing too complicated, because it would have took too long. But I'm going to take the lashes. I'm going to be really... Really careful and try not to rip them. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay, hold on. Okay, here's the right eye. Okay, it goes like that. Okay. These have been used. These ain't a new pair. So, I'm just going to put glue on the band, like so. Just a very, very light amount. I'm going to get this ready to try. Let's put mascara on it from last time. I won't be putting mascara on them anyway, so, yeah. So far, that is the eye. Um, trying to get you to see the, uh, it's just a simple eye, like, it's not, like, complicated. Just a soft eye, you know. I've used the lid shade, I've just never used the brown before, um, but, yeah. Since my eye is watering, it looks a little smudgy. <laughs> but, I don't look tight to my waterline. But, and that was my heater.
I don't have my glasses on, guys, so I can't see well. Okay. I think this is about one. It's still wet. It's going to go right, yeah. I'm looking down into my mirror. It's not going to work, is it? Okay. My uh, freaking fingers are sticking to it. What's happening, you guys? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I got glue on them, and they're ready. That's why it's so hard to stick on. Okay, I'm gonna go in to the inner part of my eye. I think it's on pretty much. I just had this inner part I need to pull down. I'm gonna put some glue right on the band. Hope and pray that this sticks. I don't want to use an eyelash applicator because I don't like using eyelash applicators. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, I think I got it. I hope it's not. I hope it don't pop off. Okay. Okay. I think we have them on pretty much on. I just need to blend them in with the bossy. I've used this pair before. She's in the thin But if you want to see what the lashes look like, there you go. I mean, you can't even see them. You can't even see them. I need to pinch these. inner corner though.
I'm gonna put my mascara on them to blend them. Oh, and I need to do blush. That's gonna be fun. Okay, I think this is ready. Or not, okay. <laughs> Yay. Still new to lashes. Not wanting to cooperate with me. It's not wanting to cooperate with me, I swear. It's not wanting to cooperate at all. Mm. I have mascara all over my fingers. Gross. I know I'm disgusting. I know. For doing that. But oh well, you know. We all do things weird like that. Oh my god. Why is this not up to stick? I think it's because my lash is weird. My eyelash is like wonky or something. Looks good to me when we got them on. So right, I'm gonna take my big curl and mesh them together. You know, yeah. Or should I take the one I'm using for? I think I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Yeah. I'll take big curl and I'm gonna go. Eh. Okay, I'm sorry, I have a mess. Okay. That's not big girl. <laughs> That's what I'm using for my lower. Okay, this is big curl. This is where the mascara is coming from. Okay, I'm gonna use the big curl and I'm gonna go on the tips of the lashes. This is the very tip of them. Coat them. Just the very tips of them. Nothing crazy. And then I'm gonna go with the waterproof version. That I like I said, it's in the shit. It's in the very black. It's the super sizer waterproof from Cover Girl. And I'm gonna go in our corner. <laughs> Popping up. What do you know? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm so sorry if I'm not in frame. I'm so sorry. So 
sorry. Um, I'm gonna go towards the lower part of my eye. And uh, it was really watery today. But yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go in and do the blush now that we said we was going to do. Oh god. Oh, there's red eyeshadow on my blush brush. Great. Can't use that brush. I'll do something else. I think I may have something in here for that. I just can't use a fluffy brush like I wanted. I just want like a little bit of blush. Like I don't want nothing crazy. I have a blush from Revlon that I'm gonna use. I have, I have it in the shade Ravishing Rose of Tweeny. It's the Revlon Powder Blush in Ravishing Rose. And I'm going to put this on um, my cheeks. I never wear blush, but I want to try to use it. Oh, hey, it's too much. Okay, yeah, it's a little bright. Okay. I don't have to really tap a lot off because I do not want a lot. I do not want a lot. That's a lot of pigment on my brush. Okay. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it, so yeah, but I'm just gonna kind of just kind of just add like a little hint of something. I don't see anything because <laughs> I tapped a lot of that product off. And it's not even showing up. Great. Maybe I needed to dip in more. Let me maybe I don't may I Tap too much off. Whoa! Okay. I think it's there now. <laughs> um, it's just like a soft glow. Can you even see that? You can't even see it on the camera, and you can't even you can't even see it on the face. Like it does not even show up. What is happening? Why is it not showing up? Is it the brush I'm using? Is the brush too fluffy? I don't know. Like, is that why it's not showing up? Or is it just a buildable formula? Or what? I may go in with a different brush. And, uh, let's see what's going on. When I go into the light, I can see it. But I may have to go in with a denser brush and see if it will be better. I'm going to go into this angled brush right here. I'm going to see if this gets any off. Dipping right in it. This blush has um, shimmer through it, like gold shimmer. So I'm gonna definitely blend this because I'm not used to blush. So yeah, that's a very light amount of blush. I know it's saying, I know I'm saying light, and it's not light. I will blend this. Um, I don't know how to blend it, but I will try to blend it myself. Okay, I mean, where's my big fluffy powder brush I was using? It has red eyeshadow on it.
I did have a big fluffy powder brush. I guess it failed. I guess I'll use this big one. Just to kind of just um, blend it in case I put too much. In case I went a little crazy, this will help it blend into my skin and my eye. It's watering, but this one looks like a clown. And then I go in with my sponge too, just to kind of, kind of help it too. I may go in with my sponge also, just so it doesn't um, look. Somewhat dry sponge. Okay, I think we're good. Now we just gotta do highlighter and lip, and then we'll do the hair. I don't know how long I've been doing this. <laughs> Nobody is watching at all. Okay. Um, I'm just going to take the Wet n Wild Highlighting Bar in the shade Air, and I'm going to highlight with it. I'm going to highlight the face. Um, let's see. For the face, I'm going to take this just this pencil brush, and it's going to be for the inner corner as well. But I'm going to take this for the lip to highlight the lip. I'm going to take this on the nose as well, on the bridge of the nose. And I will do this to the inner part of my eye as well. Just to kind of draw some light there. And I probably will be straightening my hair. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet. And my inner corner popped off. Great. Uh, in the inner corner. I'm going to highlight the face. <clears throat> Wet and Wild Bretman uh, highlighting brush looks like that. I'm just gonna kind of go above where I'm breaking out, <laughs> kind of around there, and a little bit of. Um, I'm gonna blend the two together. Just so there's no line of demarcation. I know it's highlighting my bumps, but I'm going a little crazy with a highlighter, I know. Nobody's even watching, are they? <laughs> Nobody. Okay. I want to take my brush that I used for the uh, blending the blush, and I'm gonna blend the highlight in. So there's no like 
streaks, you know, and, uh, <clears throat> on that inner corner, okay, it's wanting to pop off. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna set my face here in just a second because I gotta go in with lips. Because I haven't even done the lips yet. Oh god. Try not to get that in my eye. Okay. Even if I want to with you, oh, oh, oh. okay. Uh, I'm going to take the shade ship again, you guys. It's right. Where'd the palette go? It's right below bones. And I fixed this area that I messed up on. On the lower lash line, it needs connected again. There we go. Let's get connected it again. We're good. Okay, now all I have to do is set this. I hope this blush is not crazy. Your corner popping off. What can you do though? I may need to exfoliate my lips are with the mirror, right here with the mirror. Or the, not the mirror, but the fan, yeah. That's what I meant. Okay. Right now, inner corner is popping off and I don't know what to do. Get ready to do lips and hair, so, um, I think. This six in the inner corner of my eye. I'll get ready to do the lips. I'm just using my glasses now. If I can find them. Yeah. Okay. Love you guys. Oh, here's the eye. And the lashes from the side. And this is the eye we did. That's just a simple eye. It looks not complicated. I may exfoliate my lips.
I'm trying a new gloss today. <laughs> we fart. We're humans. Okay. <laughs> I know it was gross, but we're humans. Okay. <laughs> Everybody does it. I ate some, I don't know, <laughs> not like a piece of plastic or something, you know, not a doll or, you know. Well, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. <laughs> I did not intend to do that, I promise. Color Pop Lippy Scrub Coco Loco, which lasted me four years. Years. It's lasted me years, you guys. It's worth the, I think it's eight bucks. It's worth it, you guys, I promise. It's worth you getting it. I'm going to take a little bit of foundation. Let me just do this on this camera. Just that much. You don't need much. You don't need much, okay? I promise you that. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge actually. Just to. Okay. I've got freaking mascara on my chin. That's great. Where's my spoolie? I don't know how long it's been there. There we go. Just like that. Done. Okay, let's take a little bit of powder right there. Kinda. Eh. I'm just going to take a sponge and blend that in. You know? Nothing crazy. I got blush on, but I don't know if you can even tell. It's like so light, you can barely even tell it. I don't know what went on out there. That needs fixed. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I will post this. I will post pictures and stuff. I'm still going to do my hair too, so. But, um, we're going to do the lips now. I have, I had them in my hand, but I'm going to show you guys. Um, I have the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in the shade Dusty Rose. The color shipping lip liner just heroes. And I have worn this lip before. 23rd birthday actually was the last time I wore it. So I did the same uh lip liquid lipstick um lip liner and liquid lipstick. Just the gloss is uh going to be different. I'm going to not press too hard because it will break. I think I do. Uh, I'm also going to do my hair. So.
So yeah, that's Dusty Rose by itself. Dusty Rose Lip Liner by Maybelline. Dusty Rose. Okay. I'm well, going we to try this gloss too. I can't wait to try this gloss. But this is the liquid lipstick that I work with this lip liner. And it's the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick in the shade 10 Dreamer. It's the color. The color. Let's see. I'm going to sip it out. It's the doe foot. Okay. It's just the pink. Um, it looks more nude on me. I was wondering, it looks more pink right now. When I take pictures, it'll look more nude for some reason. I put a gold gloss over this last time. And it made it look more nude. I'm going to put a pink gloss over it this time. I don't know. The gold gloss made it look more nude for some reason. This is going to make it hopefully look more pink. It's in the shade Dreamer. Okay. It's pretty glossy at first, but it will dry. I already got it on my teeth. <laughs> I already got it on my teeth. Okay. Gloss time. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Low Key Pink. It's a new shade. I think I have a clear, and I think I had, I think I have a pink, um, a sheer pink, you can't even tell, it's just clear, and then another, like, pinky red, but it's still clear. I think they're seeing it or something, I don't know. But... I think I tried them with no makeup on or something. I didn't really like it. Um, I had no makeup on at all. None. But I've never used these. Um, these newer ones. The doe foot is a lot more flexible. Let me show you. A lot longer. A lot more flexible. I'm trying to let this dry. It feels dry to me. Okay, it's dry now. This liquid lips dry. Pretty much. Still a little shine there, but it's dry. Well, I'm gonna put this low key pink on my lips. And see, oh. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> the lip like perfectly. <laughs> Your ashes just lit perfectly. <laughs> so there's the gloss. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Because, you know, I can't help it. <laughs> keep getting it on my teeth <laughs> but we're gonna go in with hair let's slip it's pretty shiny I don't think I need to clean it okay we're done I just need to do my hair, you guys. We'll be done. <laughs> I got up at eight. This took me two hours to do.
Okay, I'm going to lay this here while that heats up. I'm going to take my hair down. I just washed it yesterday, so it should not need, should not, I repeat, should not need dry shampoo in it because I dried it yesterday. Dried it yesterday. Washed it yesterday. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> I may still put it in it anyway. Because of how it looks, but let me refresh it just a little bit because it needs it. I want my straightening brush. I'll show you what straightening brush is when I um, get ready to wash it. Okay, it should be hot now. I think it's leaking. Tell me it's hot. I'm going to put some dry shampoo in it. Um, you guys, hold on. Just a second. I think it's telling me it's hot. Yeah, it's hot for sure. I'm going to lay it on the floor right now. While I refresh my hair a little. Oh, this is the, um, I don't think I told you what this was. This is where I get oily the most. Um, Dove Dry Shampoo. Dove Dry Shampoo, um, in Rose, Blo Rose Bloom. Sorry, Dove Dry Shampoo in Rose Bloom. And I'm going to massage it in. And I will brush it through. I thought it looked pretty though. Just a pretty pink, you know. It's nothing complicated. <gasps> oh. <laughs> so, so happy. So <laughs> happy. So I just... <laughs> I got a notification for REM's Indigo track list just now. Oh my god. Ah! I'm excited to look at it. Sorry. <laughs> that was a genuine reaction, I promise. <laughs> I'm an army, okay? Speaking of that, I will be doing a look for V's birthday towards the end of December, and uh, it's, I, I want to keep it a surprise. I don't really want to say what it is right now. I don't want to ruin it. It's creative, that's about all I can say. It's creative. Which part should I do the opposite way? I'm getting ready to part my hair. Um... I'm not going to get a comb, just because I'm in a hurry, because we got to leave really at a certain time. I cannot believe the track list is out. I'm so happy. After I get them posted in my makeup posts, I'm going to look at all that. I'm going to part it this way. Okay, that looks neat. Okay. Okay. Straightening brush is ready to go.
My hair is pretty straight already, so I don't have to straighten it too much. It's pretty straight naturally. I can't believe it's out already. First the photos, then the track list. Ah. My blush. I'm actually wearing blush. I don't know if you can even tell. But I'm actually wearing blush. <laughs> I'm actually wearing blush. It's 10.04 right now. I'm looking at the time. Because I have to... Supposedly it's at 2. I don't know if we... I don't know. I don't know really what time we're going to be going, but it might be any time, I guess. I'm going to... I don't have to be too straight. I just wanted to get straight enough, if you know what I mean. This is the part that needs it really bad. I didn't section it, so I'll post this on TikTok probably too, the um, pictures. I've been doing this for a while, I hope it didn't cut me off. Yeah, I think we are pretty straight. I cut my hair. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cut it a little bit. It's this short now. Let's try to get it as straight as I can get it. I will be putting um, putting <laughs> some hairspray in it in just a second. Just making sure I got it straight enough. Let's make it short it's straight. It feels, it looks pretty straight, feels pretty straight. This will be going on YouTube. So, if I don't get to post those REM photos, I'll post them tomorrow. I have a fan account, but, um,. Yeah, not really. Don't say too much about it. It's a BTS Creative Army member. If you want to look at BTS stuff, I do have BTS posts on my account. Um, and I, but I do have a an account for them. Got three thousand posts on it. Uh, in a year, but if you want like BTS content and you're an army and you're watching this, go to my Instagram. I also have a YouTube channel, it's BTS Colorful Army Member, and BTS Army Creates is a Twitter. And all of my social medias are Sydney Loves to Create, except for Twitter. My Twitter is Sydney S Creates. Um, if you're an army, follow me there. Or just comment and I uh, will tell you what it is. If you didn't catch it, I will just, if you comment about it, I will reply to it. Um, I'll try to. There we go. 
to comment it right now if, if anybody pops in. <laughs> Nobody's been watching me for these two hours. Okay, I think I'm going to do some hairspray now. It seems pretty straight. These pictures will be on TikTok. I don't think I quit doing the product pictures because they take so long. <laughs> but um, if you ask me what I used, I will uh, tell you. Got it. <laughs> I had to get it out of the drawer. Okay, is this not straight? Is this part not straight? Nope. Okay, I don't think it is. Is this still hot? I may have to keep straightening it because for some reason I have these little kinks. And the hairspray I will be doing to finish off it will be Is this not the right plug? Hairspray. I will post pictures. So, and then just a second. See, I did cut my hair. It's a little bit shorter. See, it was like here, you know, now it's up here. The guy didn't cut it right. Oh no, <clears throat> he must not have been knowing he was doing it or something, because he must be good at bar being a barber or something. But uh, he must not be good at women hair because. Oh. Anyway, and I was sitting correct and everything, but I cut my own hair, so I had to cut it my own. I had to cut it myself, so don't judge it. Please don't judge it. Um, this is L'Oreal. Weather control hairspray. It for is 48 hour hold by L'Oreal. It's a locket one. And spray the back. See me in the back? No. 
you can't. <laughs> I'm gonna take Okay, we are ready. This is the outfit I'm wearing. Um I would show you the pants, but <laughs> These leather or these um, flower pants. I don't want to stand up. <laughs> but that's that. Uh, that's the pants I'm wearing. But yeah, this is this look. And um, yeah. That's a little soft glam for today. Nothing crazy. I will post this on my accounts and everything. And um, everything. That I used, I said in this video, and I will put it in the description. Um, except for Twitter um, and TikTok. I probably won't do that on there. I don't know. But we'll see. But yeah, hope you. <laughs> Nobody watched me. <laughs> Hopefully, there'll be people that watch um, the one I post on my account. Hopefully, people will watch that one. Anyway, um, bye <laughs> to nobody who's watching, but <laughs> bye to the people who are going to watch this on my account. Bye, love you, thanks for watching to the people who watch this on my account and to my YouTube. On my Instagram and my YouTube for people who watch it on there, who watch this video on there, love you and uh, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in about a month at the end of December. Okay? Bye.